Voyager 1 is nearing its end after nearly 47 years since its launch. Surprisingly, this spacecraft has traveled so far that, while a signal takes only 5 seconds to reach the James Webb Space Telescope, it takes about 20 hours and 33 minutes for a signal to reach Voyager 1, and the same time for a signal to return from there to Earth. When Voyager was launched, our parents were probably still children. The fact that this mission is still active after nearly half a century speaks to the enormous legacy it carries. Unfortunately, the challenges of the cosmos are slowly bringing this legacy to an end, and Voyager 1 is gradually approaching its final chapter. What exactly is causing the impending end of Voyager 1? Will it be able to overcome this cosmic challenge? In today's video, we'll explore this topic. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. When Voyager 1 was launched, Disaster and a crash landing on Earth were avoided by only 3.4 seconds on September 5, 1977. Immediately after the launch, there was a failure in its rocket engine. Despite having 540 kilograms of propellant in the LR-91 propulsion motor, the second stage ignition did not fire. Scientists tried hard to revive the LR-91, but it was not possible. This forced them to burn propellant from another component to prevent Voyager 1 from stopping its ascent and falling back. The fuel from this second component was meant to be used much later in the mission, to give Voyager a speed boost. However, almost all of its fuel was exhausted, and Voyager entered space orbit just 3.4 seconds before the fuel in this component was completely depleted. If for any reason this entry into orbit had been delayed by 3.4 seconds, Voyager would have had to be aborted, and a significant piece of human history would have been lost. This story demonstrates how challenging Voyager 1's journey has been from the very beginning. After such a significant error in the early stages, many people were skeptical that this mission could last even a few years, but the rest, as they say, is history. Voyager 1 not only provided us with the first close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn, along with other outer planets, but also discovered numerous celestial objects and moons. On August 25, 2012, it became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. The most remarkable aspect is that, despite being operationally designed for only five years, this spacecraft is still active nearly 47 years later. This type of longevity had never been seen in any space mission before and may never be seen again, which makes this mission even more invaluable. As much as we feel proud knowing that the Voyager spacecraft is the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, it is equally sad because the challenges for this spacecraft began as soon as it entered interstellar space. When Voyager 1 left the inner solar system and entered interstellar space, the effects of solar particles on it began to diminish, but it started to be heavily influenced by cosmic radiation from interstellar space, which in many cases was much stronger than solar radiation. As a result, many of Voyager 1's instruments began to malfunction after coming into contact with this cosmic radiation. The first major impact of this was seen in 2017 when Voyager's primary thrusters failed and showed signs of malfunction. Although Voyager 1 did not rely much on its thrusters, scientists decided to try activating Voyager's secondary thrusters. Surprisingly, these secondary thrusters, which had not been used for decades, successfully activated and began compensating for the primary thrusters. In 2019, scientists faced another challenge related to Voyager. When both Voyager spacecraft were designed and created in the 1970s, they were equipped with 450W radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, for power, which were fueled by the decay of plutonium-238. These generators convert the heat generated by the decay of plutonium into electrical energy to power the entire probe. However, due to the natural decay of plutonium, these generators now produce about 40-45% less power than their initial output in 1977. This makes it impossible to power all instruments as before. To extend the life of both Voyager spacecraft, scientists had to decide which equipment could reduce power consumption. After much discussion, they decided to turn off the heaters of various instruments on Voyager 1 to conserve energy. Despite these efforts, in November 2023, Voyager 1 began facing a problem that seemed unsolvable. The spacecraft's flight data system, FDS, which can be considered Voyager's computer, started behaving strangely. While the part of the FDS that receives and executes commands from Earth works fine, 
The problem is with the telemetry modulation unit, TMU, responsible for transmitting the data captured by Voyager back to Earth. The TMU transmitted a continuous pattern of zeros and ones without any embedded data, instead of sending actual scientific information. Scientists initially thought it might be a glitch and tried to reboot the FDS, but the problem persisted. Solving this problem is challenging for two main reasons. Firstly, it takes about 21 hours for a signal to travel from Earth to Voyager, which means scientists need about two days for each troubleshooting cycle. Secondly, the structure of the FDS is so outdated that very few people understand it thoroughly, and there are no surviving members of the original design team who could provide insights based on their experience. As a result, Voyager has stopped providing us with its valuable data, perhaps permanently. Scientists continue to work on the problem, but after four months, no progress has been made. It is possible that Voyager will now simply continue its journey as a symbol of humanity in infinite space. Even if the connection were re-established and scientists managed to extend its life, both voyagers can only be communicated with until 2036 at most, after which they will be beyond the reach of the Deep Space Network, DSN, making it practically impossible to track or communicate with them. This marks the end of one of the most glorious space missions in human history. In 300 years, Voyager will wander within the Oort cloud, and 40,000 years later, it will fly over another star system. What do you think? Will we ever develop the capability for interstellar travel to recover Voyager in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.